Sometimes you'll be required to find quadratic equations to solve for the values of x or the unknown in a quadratic equation, but they won't be arranged in the way you know it, that ax squared plus bx plus c. In this video, we're going to look at how we solve quadratic equations that are not arranged in that form. The form I'm talking about is the, usual, the standard form of a quadratic equation, which is ax squared plus bx plus c. We shall illustrate this with a few examples. This is Kisembo Academy, and thanks for tuning in. So we're being told to solve x squared plus 2x minus 7 is equal to 13 plus x. Now, definitely this is a quadratic expression or a quadratic equation because we have the highest power of the equation being 2. The highest power of x. So what we do here is we have to first arrange it into this form. After arranging it into that form, then that is only then that we shall go ahead and factorize it. So we'll, sh we'll begin our first task by first arranging it to this form. So arranging it, we'll have to make sure that this equation is equated to zero. It means that this 13 is supposed to come over, cross that equal sign. Likewise, this positive x also is supposed to come over, cross that equal sign. So we'll begin. It's going to become x squared plus 2x minus 7. Then this 13, when it crosses, here it was positive 13. When it crosses the equal signs, it comes this way, it becomes negative 13. So this is going to become minus 13. Likewise, this positive x, when it crossed this equal sign to come this side, here it was positive, now it's going to become minus x. That's going all going to be equal to 0, because when these two come over this side, we leave there nothing. So when they all come this way, we start collecting like terms. So it's going to become x squared plus uh, 2x minus x, so it's plus 2x minus x, then minus 7 minus 13. All this is going to be equal to 0. So x squared, uh, 2x minus x is going to give us x, so it's going to become plus x. Then negative 3 minus 13 is going to give us a negative 20. All this is equal to 0. So at last, we have formulated a quadratic equation after rearranging. We formulate a quadratic equation that is in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. So after formulating that, rearranging it to that form, then we can go ahead and factorize it. So of course, as we are factorizing this equation, we're supposed to look for two numbers first. Uh, these two numbers, are, when we add them, they're supposed to give us a sum of positive 1. And then when we multiply them, they're supposed to give us a product of negative 20 and we get these numbers by exploring the factors of 20 now amongst amid uh, the factors of 20 we have uh, we have 1 times 20 these are factors of 20 1 times 20 will give us 20 we have um, 2 times 10 we have uh, 4 times 5 now if you look at 4 and 5 4 and 5 can be used to manipulate we can manipulate these two numbers to fit this condition. How do we manipulate them? Now, if we made uh, 4 a negative, we know that 4, negative 4 times 5 will give us negative 20. Negative 4 plus 5 will give us a sum of 1. So we shall go with negative 4 and 5, and we use it to displace this middle term using these two numbers. So it means after here, our next step is going to be x squared minus 4x plus 5x because this is positive 5 so it's plus 5x minus 20 is equal to 0 so we'll go ahead and factorize so factorizing this put this in brackets put that in brackets the common factor here is x so we put x outside the brackets into x minus 4 then the common factor here definitely is uh, 5, so it's uh, plus 5, into, uh, that's going to give us 5x divided by 5 is x, negative 20 divided by positive 5 is negative 4, is equal to 0. We put the terms outside the brackets in their own bracket, so it is going to become x plus 5 into x minus 4, is equal to 0. And of course, after factorizing them, 
uh, to get the value of x, it's either x plus 5 is equal to 0 or x minus 4 is equal to 0. And when we make x the subject of the formula here, this 5 crossing coming that side, we, we remain here with our value of x as negative 5 as the answer. And then here when 4 comes this side to get make x the subject of the formula, our value of x is 4. We have another example. We have 2 into a minus 5 into a plus 5 is equal to 21a. Still, we are going to open these brackets and make sure that we rearrange this expression in such a way that it is equal to 0 so that we are able to solve it. So we shall begin first by opening these brackets. This is 2 times that bracket times that bracket. So we deal with those brackets first. So it's going to become 2 into now expanding these brackets is going to be a times a is a squared then a times positive 5 is plus 5a then we have negative 5 times a is negative 5a then we have negative 5 times positive 5 giving us negative 25 is giving going equal to 21a Definitely, this is going to become 2 into, now, positive 5a and minus 5a is 0. These two will cancel. So, you remain inside here, a squared minus 25 is giving us 21a. So, we open brackets here, 2 times a is 2a squared. Then, 2 times negative 25 is giving us negative 50 is giving us 21a. So we shall end up with, when we transfer this, remember we want to equate it to 0, we transfer this to come this way, we remain with 2a squared minus 21a minus 50 is equal to 0. So we have formed a quadratic equation in A. So we go ahead and factorize this quadratic equation and find the value of A. Now, so what, if you had a quick mathematical eye, you would realize that this is an identity. A minus 5 into A plus 5 is an identity for difference of two squares. And with difference of two squares, after realizing this, you would just get from this step and come straight to this step without having to first expand the brackets. Because A minus 5 into A plus 5 is the same as A squared minus 5 squared. This 5 squared is 25. So A squared minus B squared is equal to 5 squared. So in factorizing this number, we're supposed to find two numbers. Uh, those two numbers are supposed to give, be giving us a sum of negative 21. And when we, that is when we add them. They're supposed to give us a sum of negative 21. Then when we multiply them, they're supposed to be giving us a product of 2 times negative 50. And when we say 2 times negative 50, the answer we get is... Uh, negative 100. So we are going to get those two numbers from the products of the factors of 100. So the factors of 100 here we have 1 times 100. Uh, we have 2 times 50. Uh, we have 4 times 25. Now, if you look at 4 and 25, they can give us what we, if we manipulate these two, they can give us what we want. If we made um, 25 negative, 4 plus negative 25 gives us negative 21. Then 4 times negative 25 gives us negative 100. So, when we multiply these two, they give us a product of 100. When we add these two, they give us a sum of negative 21. So we'll go with these two. So this is going to, but we we'll use these two to displace this middle term. So this is going to become, our next step will be 2a squared plus 4a minus 25a. Now this serves to displace that. Then minus 50 is equal to 0. So we go ahead and factorize, put these into brackets, these ones also into brackets. Um, the common term, the, the common factor here is 2a, so we put 2a outside the brackets into 
2a squared divided by 2a is a plus 4a divided by 2a is 2. Then we, the common factor here is 25. So we put uh, negative 25 outside the brackets. Negative 25a divided by negative 25 will give us a. Negative 50 divided by negative 25 will give us positive 2 is equal to 0. Of course, the terms in the brackets are supposed to always be the same. So, with 2a minus 25, we put that in their own bracket. 2a minus 25 into a plus 2 is equal to 0. There we have factorized the expression, so we go ahead and find so the, the value of a. So it's either 2a minus 25 is equal to 0 or a plus 2 is equal to 0. So when we make the subject of the formula here, it's definitely 2a is equal to 25 divide both sides by 2. A will become 25 over 2 and likewise here when 2 crosses to come that side we remain with our value of A as 2. So those are the two. X plus 5 is equal to 36 over X. So to begin this off to we make it a flat equation. So when we say this over 1 we cross multiply. So that will make it a flat equation. So it's going to be x times this whole part is equal to 1 times 36. So x times that is going to become x times x plus 5 is going to give us 1 times 36, which is 36. When we open brackets here, x times x is x squared. x times 5 is plus 5x is equal to 36. So we bring this 36 this way. It becomes x squared plus 5x minus 36 is equal to 0. So we have a quadratic equation that we have rearranged. So we have two numbers giving us, we're supposed to get two numbers to factorize this, giving us a sum of positive 5. And when we multiply those products, they're supposed, those two numbers, they're supposed to be giving us a product of 1 times negative 36, which is negative 36. So we get those numbers from the factors of 36. So we begin exploring the factors of 36. We have 1 times 36 as one of the factors there. Then we have 2 times uh, 18. Then we have 3 times 18. Then we have 4 times 9. Now if you look at 4 times 9, if you manipulate these two numbers, and let's say you made 4 a negative. Uh, negative 4 times positive 9 will give us negative 36. Negative 4 plus positive 9 will give us a positive 5. So these two numbers are satisfying this condition. Because when we add them, they give us a sum of positive 5. When we multiply them, they are giving us a product of negative 36. So we shall use these two numbers to come and displace this middle term. So it means after here, our next step is going to become x squared. We ignore this and replace them with this. Minus 4x plus 9x minus 36 is equal to 0. So when we group this and that, we go ahead and factorize them. The common factor here is x. So... It is x outside the brackets into x squared divided by x is x. Negative 4x divided by x is giving us minus 4. Then right here, the common factor here will be 9x divided by 9 is going to give us x. Then negative 36 divided by 9 will give us negative 4 is equal to 0. Now you're supposed to do it in such a way that the terms in the brackets are the same. It's x minus 4, x minus 4. So we put the terms outside the brackets in their own bracket. So our next step will be x plus 9 into x minus 4 is equal to 0. So to go ahead and find the value of x, it's either x plus 9 is equal to 0 
or x minus 4 is equal to 0 and our value of x here is negative 9 or our value of x here is 4. This brings us to the end of this video. Up next is more of this. I urge you to stay tuned in. For more videos, please remember to subscribe. This is Arnold Rangakuramia on behalf of Kisembo Academy.